Hello everybody, it's February 6, 2021, Saturday. I'm in Salem, Massachusetts, the haunted city of Salem, Massachusetts, famous for its witch trials in 1692. This town was founded in 1626. It is a cold 41 degrees Fahrenheit today, 6 degrees Celsius. It's about 1 o'clock p.m. We just parked the car at the parking garage and we're in front of the Witch City Mall. I'm here joined with my brother, Chasing Chinster, and also Madison. So we will walk through Salem, Massachusetts and see what this city has to offer. I know there's a lot of witch themed places around here as well as an ice carving ceremony or a contest here. So we will see. Immediately we are, this way. we're going this way? That's All right. I, I was going to go show the map though, but. Well, we can walk on the sidewalk there, but there's no ice. Yeah, too much ice. <laughs> Thai place, the first Thai restaurant in the North Shore area. How far would you say Salem Mass is in Boston? about 25 miles or so 25 miles okay 20 miles yeah didn't take us that long to get here but the downtown area did have a lot of traffic anything significant about this church oh there's a mini cemetery here oh look who died age 56. Gravesite preservation. This is St. Peter's Church. We're 22 miles away from Boston. 22 miles. Well, Boston's pretty big, so depends where. I think the famous places around here are the Peabody Museum, the Witch House, and there's another one too. I think there's also a marker that marked the Salem Witch Trials. Yeah, there's a Hocus Pocus, the Halloween movie. Uh huh. And it was filmed here, and there's a bunch of houses and things like that. And I think if you come here and October, they literally have tours that take you to all of the places that Hocus Pocus was filmed at. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go this way, go toward downtown. Yeah. And also, this is a uh, area that was famous in Arthur Miller's The Crucible. That was the uh, book he wrote. No way, it wasn't a book, it was a play, I think. Yeah. I remember reading that back in high school. I don't remember too much of it because, to be honest, I thought that book was uh, pretty boring to go through. The only thing I remember from that book was some person named Abigail and John Proctor. And now you're wishing that you remember more of it. It's yeah, I wish I remember more of it, it's true. <laughs> Wasn't Arthur Miller the same guy who wrote Death of a Salesman? I don't remember now. I don't know. I do remember that story, though. Yeah. Might have even read that book as well. Way long ago. But here's a, a parking lot, and then the parking garage is back there. We tried parking in the parking lot, and they only let us park up for an hour, so... We had to go around to the parking garage. And now this town is a popular tourist town. I, every October I heard that you need to book months in advance just to get a hotel here. Which I think is ridiculous, but... There's also a commuter rail that comes here. You can see the sign. 
part of the Newburyport line. Newburyport line. The Newburyport is another beautiful coastal town, and it's right on the border of New Hampshire along the coast, Route 1A. Mm -hmm. And the homes there are beautiful, and I believe it's just as old as Salem is. Uh, new construction here. Also, I think uh, Salem, Mass is an important shipping area. It's right by the coast. And it's also home to the second oldest city hall in the United States. What is this church over here? This looks old. It says Tabernacle Congregational Church. No traffic light here at all. Just got to cross and hope that cars stop for you. Downtown's that way to the left, right? Or can we go straight? This building was built in 1841. That's pretty old already, but the city itself was uh, settled in 1626. The church is from 1735. 1735, I know. Hey, look, there's a red line going through the sidewalk. Is this like their version of the Freedom Trail? Hmm. From my understanding, those Salem witch trials, many of those people were executed by mistake. And a lot of them were innocent. And it was just a way for the people who didn't like what others were doing to have them executed. Look, 1692 Salem Witch Museum is to the left over there. Salem Witch Museum. And Boston Hot Dog Company. You can see also closely at a lot of these businesses, they have witch themed and Halloween themed um, decorations. Here's the Salem Five Bank. I don't see too many witch themed areas yet. All right, so, uh, Nearly opposite the spot stood in the middle of the street, a building developed from 1877 until 1718 to municipal and judicial use. In it, 1692 were tried and condemned for witchcraft, most of the 19 persons who suffered death on the shallows. Giles Corey was put to trial on the same charge, refusing the plea, was taken away and pressed to death. In 1693, January, 21 persons were tried here for witchcraft, of which 18 were acquitted and three condemned, but later set free together with about 150 accused persons in a general delivery which occurred in May. Wow. I am sorry. Oh no, it's fine. I just realized what I No, it's okay. It's fine. This is just a video. I'm just going with it. I know, and now you have this jerk cutting through. It's fine. We're here to enjoy the sight, so here we have a uh, ice sculpture. Oh, this is beautiful. I wonder how many of these are, are around the city. Oh, why not? Oh, thank you. All right, so. Uh, Welcome to Salem So Sweet. For two free weeks, you can enjoy an incredible way of sweet deals and delicious treats. All right. So now we have a map of this place. Oh, it's a Valentine's Day ice sculpture festival and chocolate festival. Really cool. So um, I don't have the time to look at this map, but I'll hand it off to my brother or my future sister-in-law, so.
Salem uh, cycle. I like the theme of this shirt. All right. Just let me know if we're going the right way, Gary. Just let me know if we're going the right way. Yeah. Yeah, I could. There's the Salem City Hall, second oldest city hall in the nation. Barber shop. I see some medieval themed decorations in there. There was a knight in armor. Fountain place, breakfast and lunch. And the Daniel Lowe and Company. Let's go over to the left and then go this way. Yeah, let's cross the street and then go that way. We're already here. Look at this. This is a TV yeah. from the TV show. I know. Oh this is uh Bewitched, right? This is the one I saw on online. We got another ice sculpture here. Salem, so sweet. This one says Heart Vikings. But this is the corner of Essex Street and Washington Street. We're going to head this way on Essex Street down to the uh, Witch Museum and then head back down Essex Street. I think Essex Street is a historic area according to the sign here. They should really put like a traffic light on this corner. It's so busy. They have to yield to you. I know they have to but it's like a traffic light will make it a little bit more prominent. Daniel Lowe and Company. This building looks old too. Let's see what this says. Three rods west of the spot stood from 1718 till 1785, the townhouse. Uh huh. Rockefellers, a change of atmosphere. There's the Coons card and gift shop. May have to put my own music over that music or mute it, but. I'll keep continue talking. Here's a nice ice sculpture. Seems like a guy in armor. Oh, it's number six. Joan of Arc, sword and shield. I was born to do this, Joan of Arc. Really cool. I think at this point I'm going to have to put music over it anyway. So. We got... Cool. Not all witches are from Salem. That's what it said. Funny. City of Salem is the birthplace of the National Guard of the US. I see it. Twilight House. Salem five cents savings bank. 
Oh, look at this. Wicked good books. Derby Square. Oh, that's the town hall. Look at that. Wicked good books is closed right now. The Peabody Sisters. White is bewitching just us, historic streets of Salem, Massachusetts. You know, it's pretty busy around here. Look at this. Yeah, so many dogs here. Hello. Here's the flying monkey. I love Salem. I got oh, it's closed for the season. All right, there's a second part because I don't know what happened to the first. The Trolley Depot, strange little store in a great city. Great little city, I should say. Love is love, Salem, Massachusetts. Now I know I put haunted in the title, but I don't really feel this place is haunted anymore. It feels more of a tourist attraction more than anything. There's just so many people here coming to visit Salem because it's here. What ice sculpture is this? This is 2021 picture frame. Oh, I see. You want to do one at a time or three of you? That's a cute picture. I love it. That's a cute picture. Oh, this used to be the U.S. Customs House of 1805. I wonder why it looks historic. All right. You want to go? You go. You want us to go with Yeah, go in. <laughs> It'll be fun. Hello. Happy 2021. Hope it's better than 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Red Line Cafe. How are the restaurants around here, do you think? You haven't really gone anywhere. Okay. We'll, we'll find something. Which city ink here? World class tattoos. A silversmith. Well, that's unique. That'll be a video that gets a lot of views. Asking if he gets his first tattoo. <laughs> In Salem, Mass. In Salem, Mass. He's... Witch teas. Blow this video up. 100,000 likes. Action Kid gets his first tattoo. <laughs> Bewitched in Salem. What is this? Kakawa Chocolate House? Or Kakawa? I guess it's Kakawa, right? It is a long street. Wow. And another one. This is a gingerbread house, number 12. Great ice sculptures, by the way, that they put in here.
fast as you can. Okay. East India Marine Hall. I guess this must be like the center of the town, maybe. Oh, we're on the other side of the Witch City Mall, where we were before. What is this? Salem Winterlude Fountain Installation. Is this the museum? Oh, this is it, the Peabody Essex Museum. Why do they call this the Peabody Museum if it's not in Peabody? Or, or is Salem in Peabody? Yeah. Here's the office center. Here it is. Looks like the museum's open too. Advanced tickets required though. Oh look, we can even learn about the Salem Witch Trials at the museum. Hello Kitty phone, ice sculpture. All right. Yeah, it's me in action, right? I don't think we'll go down there because it doesn't look like there's much. We'll just head here and then go back. There is? What is this, a Liberty Bell? Dedicated to the citizens of Essex County who serve in the U.S. Armed Fortress Forces. What is this, Halloween Museum now? Yeah, there's actually human skulls, right? You can buy human skulls? Isn't that creepy, huh? It's probably in the Halloween Museum. No, it wasn't that. No? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that'll definitely make this video haunted if we can buy a human skull. Yeah, you're also here uh, four, four months too late. Essex Institutes. Oh, there's a witch walk too. Ghost tour. Watch the ice here. Look, you can buy wands. What is this, Harry Potter now? You can buy wands? Can you get the, uh, I forget what that wand is called in Harry Potter. The ultimate wand, master wand, I think it is. Witch walk. Salem's oldest witch shop. Look at this house. This house looks old. <laughs> Moody's home and gifts. I think we'll walk back, right? This way. This way? The human skull? Well, let's go down this way. 
Waterfront District, Salem Maritime. House of Seven Gables. Oh, I think that's another uh, famous thing, the House of Seven Gables. Oh, there's a, there's a sculpture there. Oh. Sure. They're all over the city. What is this? The piggy bank? Yeah, piggy bank. St. Jean's Credit Union. Very cool. Piggy bank. There's a Fatima Psychic Studio across the street. I wonder what statue this is. Nathaniel Hawthorne. So I wonder what the House of Seven Gables is. <laughs> we have the St. Mary's School across the streets. Don't know which church this is. The House of Seven Gables is to the left, it says. Yeah, we'll cross here. I guess we'll find out what church this is from the sign here. Immaculate Conception Church, established in 1825. Looks like a lot more down that way. This side looks a little bit more commercial though and more geared towards cars. Mary Fox Realty. Let's see how much some of these places in Salem cost. This one's four hundred and eight thousand nine hundred, six hundred seventy four thousand nine hundred, four hundred and forty nine thousand, six hundred fifty nine thousand.
There's Union Streets. Looks like there's a lot more stores over there on the side streets. But I think we're headed towards the waterfront now. Actually, the waterfront is that way. Yeah, we should. Yeah, let's cross. I don't know how far this house of seven gables is. Let me look it up. Salem Custom House Maritime Historic Site. There's a lighthouse too. But this is good enough. We don't have to go all the way down there. The Salem Witch Trials Memorial is uh, on Hawthorne Street and the Witch, Witch Village. Salem and Beverly, the next town over, mm -hmm. and you can walk over it and you see the entire ocean and all the sailboats and the river. Wow. Oh wow, look at this. That is pretty. I guess we're headed this way anyway. Look, parts of the water are still frozen. And it's like 40 degrees. This might be iced over too. Why don't you walk up here? Wow, this is neat. This is such a bad surface to walk around here. I think there was a bad idea to get come here. <laughs> Look at the view. Well, the view is nice. We're not going to the lighthouse. That's too long. We are keeping it in here. All right. Oh, 
We're not going. Tell me a single time that Action Kid has ever killed a pirate. <laughs> a pirate? It's a friendship <laughs> ship. It's called the Friendship of Caleb. It is? <laughs> Friendship of Salem. This is why I took short trips. Yeah, we can get really close. Walk around with it. Yeah. Just walk on the snow over there. You know what I don't like? I don't like this dirt road here. That thing is so bad to walk on. Uh-oh. It's off the beaten path, man. I'm going to have a hard time Google Maps. Google Mapsing this location, the pathway. No. Oh, we can walk here. This stone thing. Part of it. And now we're stuck. <laughs> this surface is so bad to walk on. <laughs> you should have picked the same way I did. You're going through the mud. We don't have anyone to blame but him. He took us down here. <laughs> okay. All right, good. <laughs> so we were just at the Central Wharf. It was once a busy commercial wharf, I said. The Salem uh, Maritime National Historic Site. So we're here now. I think we want to go to the Witch Village, Witch Trial Memorial, and then we go up here, and we go over here. Yeah. Oh! I saw that happening. Wow. That mound of snow is deceptive. Watch the ice here. Hello, puppy. So we're headed back towards the main area. It's good that they have this red line here. It leads people to where they need to go. They stole this idea from Boston, you know, the red, the Freedom Trail. They just painted a red line. They also split off the red line and go down there too. Why do they make the red line go to the right and meanwhile it's so straight over here? That doesn't make sense.
We're going to the downtown district with the Witch Trials Memorial. Hopefully we can see some more ice sculptures there as well. And we lost the red line, the red trail. But regardless, it's somewhere this way. We know a good place to eat. We do? Boston Burger Company. Okay. Got it. Seems like we should get a walk signal soon, but... Didn't get one. This is such a bad intersection. I'm telling you, man, Massachusetts needs to redo their crossing signals. Pedestrians first and then the turning cars. It's so horrible. Every single where I go, it's cars make the turns first and then it's the well, pedestrians. I've been nominated to the Massachusetts Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Board. So maybe I could bring it up to yes. Governor Baker's attention. Yes. Definitely need it. Because in New York, it works a lot better when pedestrians go first and then it's the turning cars. Doesn't make sense. Got Salem Beer Works and the New England Pirate Museum. Wow. Actual pirate museum? Where's that uh, witch trial memorial? Here's waters and brown paint decorating. Oh, it's over there on Liberty Street. We gotta cross over. This place looks good, Brothers Taverna. Here it is, Salem Witch Trials Memorial. We're going this way. Salem Wax Museum. Oh wow, look at this. What? If you cross on the crosswalk and you're hit by a vehicle because they fail to yield to you, you are not liable at all. Yeah, but would you want to get hit? <laughs> That's the other question. Haunted house? Wow. Frankenstein's castle? Ooh. You're coming straight ahead. You really almost got door that I got. Yeah, I almost got door on the sidewalk. Meanwhile, I worry about getting door on a cycle as a cyclist, but not as a pedestrian. Witchcraft Hysteria of Salem in 1692 this is what it's called. Oh, look at this cemetery. Wow. This cemetery is ancient. Charter Street Cemetery. Temporarily closed for landscaping.
This has to be the Witch Trials Memorial here. I'm just gonna go quickly. You see, these are all the witches that were hanged or uh, died. Samuel Wardwell hanged September 22nd, 1692. I'm gonna walk around this because it gets cleaner over there. Margaret Scott hanged 1692. Wilmot Red hanged, 1692. And Podator hanged, 1692. Mary Parker hanged, 1692. Alice Parker hanged, 1692. Mary Easty hanged 1692. Martha Corey hanged 1692. Giles Corey pressed to death 1692. John Willard hanged 1692. John Proctor hanged, 1692. That's the same character I remember from The Crucible. George Jacobs hanged, 1692. Martha Carrier hanged, 1692. George Burroughs hanged, 1692. Sarah Wiles hanged, 1692. Nearly slipped there. Rebecca Nurse hanged, 1692. I'm sliding. I might be falling to death if I keep staying here. I just sliding. Just letting it take me where I need to go. Susanna Martin hanged, 1692. Gosh, so slippery. It's a bad idea. Elizabeth Howe hanged, 1692. Sarah Good hanged, 1692. Bridget Bishop hang 1692, and that's the last of them. Now I can get off this ice onto land and not have to worry about slipping and falling and breaking my neck. All right. Salem Witch Trials Memorial. I should have just taken a picture of that before I walked in there. It would have done the same thing, I think, instead of stepping on the ice. I almost fell a couple of times there. I slipped on ice maybe like four times. I didn't fall, but. So where are we going now? Following the red line. All right. Following the yellow brick road. Okay. 
So old buildings. Not only does the cemetery need restoration, but these buildings do. Two charter streets. All right, I guess this way, the red line goes this way. No, it crosses over, it goes over here, and then it goes that way. Oh yeah, we already went down there. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we went that far down that street though. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. That's historic, right? It's been there since the 1600s. Dunkin' Donuts. The boutique. Orchid woman's fashion. What do we got here? Maria's Sweet Somethings. And there's also an ice sculpture here. That's neat. There's the Salem Town Hall. Looks like this is Shops on Artist Row across the street. Number seven suites. Uh oh. It broke. We're getting sweets. All right, we're getting sweets. Wow. What's in here? Beauty clean, gel germs. We got a lot of stuff in there. Is this the one with the human skulls? Does it look like it? No, but I'm curious. Yeah. They're getting ready for Valentine's Day, yep, for sure. Wow. What's whole latte loves? <laughs> you almost caught that. I almost caught that on camera. Wow, look at that. That's the biggest gummy bear I've ever seen. Oh, that's the biggest one. Oh, wow. Five pounds of it. Oh my god, it's squishy. <laughs> I'm gonna check out the Otter's Row. It's only like one block Is down. One I'll come back.
Wow. Nice, thank you. Let's get them all. Wow. I'm gonna win it all. What are you gonna win? Make this Dalmatian. Yeah. I'm gonna check out that artist role and come back. Have fun. That's a neat little store. Let's see what's down here. Shindig, Creative Blocks, Chagall Performance Art Collaborative, and Beverly Bees. This reminds me a lot of the Bryant Park Winter Village in New York City. Although this one looks like a little more permanent. Lobster shanty. There it is, shindig. Doesn't look like any of these places are open though. They must have been open just for the holidays. There's Beverly Bees. Beverly Bees looks open. Chagall Performance Art Collaborative. It's a music store. Let's go back. All these are the public restrooms, but they're closed. One thing I have observed in this city is public restrooms are hard to get. The parking garage that's connected to the Witch City Mall, even their restrooms were closed. And many of those restaurants inside the mall had signs in front that said no public restrooms. So I don't know where people were supposed to use the restrooms here. Maybe one of these restaurants, but as far as public restrooms are, there aren't, really aren't much. We just exited the shop here, Maria's Sweet Somethings, and we're walking through the rest of Salem, Massachusetts. Here's the town hall. The ice sculpture again, which was falling apart because it's directly in the sun. Yeah, it's not nothing good there. It's closed and it's mostly here for like the holidays. Yeah. We have to go to the uh, the witch house. Yeah. Oh, here's the Boston Burger Company where we're gonna eat at. Can we even go this way? No, it doesn't look like it. 
It's a dead end. But it looks cool though. Gary was smart. He was like, let's go down that way. <laughs> Dead end. But the Boston Borough it's Company. It's just an alley. That's why the line comes over this way. There's Washington Streets. Wow, this is a big street. Fountain Place, O'Neill's Bar and Restaurant, Kushko Big uh, Bistro. It's also a little windy today too. Here's the Boston Burger Company. Salem Savings Bank building incorporated in 1818. Now it's home of the Ledger Restaurant and Bar. All right, we're back at uh, Washington Street and Essex Streets. Let's see where we should go now. So this way is toward the commuter rail, but I want to go towards the witch house. So continue on Essex Street until we hit the witch house. So we're going this way until the witch house. Wow, there's even people dressed like witches up there. Yeah. I think this is the busiest intersection of Salem. For sure. There's the Flying Saucer Pizza Company in the corner. A hobby store across the streets, Harrison's, and also another ice sculpture. Let's check that out. Number two, the world. The Journey Masters.
I think I see the witch house up ahead. Wow, black cat, witch. Game zone, this is a unique store. You rarely see like independent game stores anymore. Usually it's like GameStop, that's it. You got a battery? It is the Witch Dungeon Museum to my right. Witch Dungeon Museum. Huh? What's up? Jerry's department store. That is the place with the store. Oh, over here. It's right across the street from the witch house. Witch house is over here. Yeah, but we can see it from the outside. People are taking pictures of this. I think it's the ice sculpture. Yeah. All right, Jerry's department store. Human skull for a thousand bucks. Wow. The witch city is consignment and thrift. No, I want to end it at the witch house. Here's the human skull. And here is the Salem Witch House, which my brother said was not worth the money to go in. I think he said he spent 15 bucks to go inside the witch house, but it wasn't worth what he paid for. I'm going to cross over the street and end the video here at the Witch House in Salem, Massachusetts. All right, so this is the Salem Witch House. If you enjoyed this video of the haunted town and city or haunted city of Salem, Massachusetts, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these and I will see you next time. Take care folks, bye-bye.